It's still on the fringe, but an old favourite is about to take centre stage. After an absence of almost a decade, the new Sydney Fringe Festival is set to open its doors. It's promising a showcase of brave young talent, risque cabaret and a feast for audiences. Adrian Rochella went along for the curtain raiser. Yo, yo, so you think that you can procreate? It's an artistic rebirth of sorts, with Sydney once again hosting a fringe festival. Among the 3,000 performers are emerging artists and some tried and true. Like any great city in the world, we need a fringe festival because it gives us a chance to do, to, to create things, create shows. Uh, for performers to do things that they wouldn't usually get a chance to do. Look, Sydney's a pretty diverse place. It's not all bubbly blondes getting distracted by shiny things. This is a city that has a lot of energy and excitement and people that want to do things that are new. And it needs a Fringe Festival, I think, to give that the kind of form that it deserves. Joining the countdown, John Paul Young and his son in separate productions. One is a Led Zeppelin tribute. The other, Van Park, is about a washed-up guitarist. But as for Love is in the Air... Like, no. Well, there's plenty of love in it, but, <laughs> but it's kind of raunchy love, yeah. <laughs> the last time Sydney had a Fringe Festival was eight years ago. It was centred around Bondi in the eastern suburbs. Organisers of this new event hope that by basing it in the alternative inner west, it'll have a long, entertaining future. I and what would a fringe festival be without some risque cabaret? It seems like burlesque has made a bit of a comeback. Indeed, yeah. It has its um, ups and downs, like all art scenes. It's running till the end of the month, with a promise to reveal plenty of new talent. Adrian Rochella, ABC News, Sydney.